welcome. We are here live singing news TV and singing news radio from the beautiful Econ Center in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Welcome to this wonderful, what night is this? Does anybody know what night Thursday. this is? Thursday. Thursday. This is Thursday night. Nice. We have a table full of folks, and I am Troy Peach sitting in for uh, the wonderful Mr. Joseph Reed. We're not going to say where he is, Thank but you, it, Troy. you're welcome. <laughs> uh, but uh, we're going to throw it down to uh, the illustrious, our vice president of singing news, Brother Danny Jones. Thank you. Danny. Hey, everybody. Thanks Danny. for tuning in. We are surrounded by incredible talent, Troy, I'm, and our co host tonight. The pride and joy of Lincolnton, Georgia. Yes. Jeff Looky and Jerry there. Looky there. Jeff, hey. good to be here. I love it. Yes. That's right. Hey, you know, Jeff, you, you I always... I just watch when you talk. You go, hey, how y'all do it? You get your high voice when you go to the radio. Right. <laughs> I agree to you. Well, it's been good having you, Jeff. All right. <laughs> All right. Turning our attention now to weather and sports. All right, Jeff, seriously. Go around the room and introduce everybody for us. Would oh, you do that? Start with my wife? Sure, go ahead. She's the hot one. That's my <laughs> wife. 38 years now. I met her. Uh, we, were, we were at Quartet Convention in 1984. Mm -hmm. Wow. She's looking good then, too. Uh, <laughs> and then Danny Jones. Been knowing Danny since he was a, a Careful. radio DJ. Thank you. Mm -hmm. there you and go. then <laughs> Melissa Brady. Been knowing her since she married Tom over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. John. John. Yeah. Jim. There you go. You got Jim it. Perfect, Brady, Joe. Sure. But anyway, J Jim and <laughs> Melissa Brady are some of our dearest friends, sweetest people in the world. Yes, I sir. promise you. And yeah. tell them who works on your bus there, Jim. Anytime I need something, my first call is Jeff Easter. Does yeah. it work for you? Got, listen, you've gotten me off the road many times. The best one was the last call I got from him. I said, he said, my belts are flopping. I said, I said go back out the back. There's a little red button. Yeah, yeah. Does flip it. say it. off or on? It says off. I said, flip that. Flip it. He flipped flip it. That the belts went down. There they went. Wow. Boom. What a miracle. <laughs> it Man. was great. And yeah. he sent you I'm a like, bill for $750. Yeah. No, it was almost like it was made that way. All he got out of that was a Starbucks gift card. I hope, I hope you enjoyed it. He did send me the car, but thank you for that. Oh. And then we got to Miss Carly here yeah. uh, from the Hoppers. Been mm -hmm. knowing her since she was a little bitty baby. Since yes. before she was. She and Morgan, our buddies, hanging out on all kind of cruises and just having fun. And now killing it singing some out yeah. yes, yes. Yes. yes you are oh yeah yes, yes. yes you are yes i sit back and listen i don't put them out there and listen it's good and it's really really good yeah you're doing a great yeah. job filling in for grandma you sound great and Thank then you. there's kim kim hopper's had a crush on me since we were <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry kim. i was really expecting something funny you. for me it's so serious <laughs> yeah and it just took a turn oh, i did yeah. but no kim hopper i'm telling you one of the greatest sopranos ever oh yeah. 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 i was a fan Thank of the you. greens back when y'all had that canaan line Oh, Kim actually a pen pal. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Kim, and Glory I were, Glory Kim and I were pen pals That's when she right. was Kim Green and I was Sherry Williamson. Oh, That's wow. Right. Yeah. That's been Sweet. a long time. That's, That's been a long time. <laughs> yeah. A lot and of then Troy Peak down there. Everybody knows you on singing. Yeah. Yes, here we are. Here we are. I remember when you was with Gold City. I love yep, you. Yep, 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 <laughs> yep. All right. That's it, Danny. <laughs> Danny, yeah, well, can, okay. can you pick that up there, buddy? Go I, ahead. I have no idea where we're going to go from here. <laughs> yes, actually, go up I do. Here. I, I do, too. Jim Brady, yeah. incredible songwriter. It seems like every time we turn around, there's a Jim Brady song playing on the radio. Yeah. So what, what's coming down the pike from your songwriting desk? Well, I'm, I'm always writing, and I'm grateful to have that opportunity to write. Melissa and I have been writing a ton of songs. I have great co-writers in Nashville. Living in Nashville, I have access to the greatest writers, I think, in the world. And uh, starting when COVID hit, I always said I didn't have enough time to write. But when we, we sat home for that whole year, I decided, you know what, I can be depressed and complain about it. Or I can write songs and and you know believe what we've been saying and, and, and write those things in songs. So between Melissa and I and co-writers in Nashville, during 2020 we wrote over 80 new gospel songs. Wow! wow. And so I'm pitching them wherever. And uh, a lot of people are recording. Both brothers are recording a bunch of them. We're recording. Other folks in gospel music are, and so Greater I. Uh, Greater vision. So my heart is songwriting. Right. Jeff and Sherry Easter. I'm sending you some, buddy. Well, we said, we're done, done. You have. That one? Sun you sun have. The sun will shine again. Oh, the sun will shine so again. Yes. yes. That was a, what a great honor. I love Jeff and Sherry, man. We Melissa and I used to listen to the Benson records when y'all had Thread of Hope Back and all when those songs. Were kids, I we were kids. <laughs> <laughs> y'all were too. Yeah, yeah. And you were we too. Yes. Roses will bloom again. Roses, yeah. So all that stuff. So getting a Jeff and Sherry Easter cut and a Hopper cut has been a highlight of my musical mm -hmm. career, so I'm grateful. You know, we've 
we've got icons we, sitting you, here. Yes, we you really do. Really. Sherry and Jeff. Yeah. Kim Hopper. Oh, 25 time winner of Soprano of the Year. Yeah. I don't know that we could fit all their fan awards on this table. I mean that. Right. Right. Yeah. That's a quarter yeah. century. Yeah. yeah. Well, and let's not leave Jim out. I mean, in I all of his years. I yeah. Know. Whenever you pick up one of their heavy bags, just ask them, you carrying around, you're singing his fan awards. <laughs> <laughs> I think that has been said on the bus before. You know, I believe that. <laughs> yes. I, have decided, Troy, I think I have, I'm going to make an executive decision here. I think we need to give Carly yeah. like an hour. Just let her talk. Oh, that's too oh. scary. <laughs> <laughs> Mom I'll has vetoed that. I know. <laughs> we'll you know talk what? later. Let, let me say this. My baby brother, Tony, yep. mm. passed away 13 years ago today. Today. Yeah. Oh. today. And Carly was born on his birthday. And, mm. you know, he was so funny and would say anything, anytime, anywhere. And boy, did she inherit <laughs> all of that from him. It I on. just hold my breath when we're on stage. I never know what's coming out of her mouth. And I used to do the same thing with my brother. So. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And also my grandfather. So they yeah, were all kind of just teetering. You were, <laughs> you were bound to get it. You yes. really yeah. were. You know, Kim, you, you brought up something I was going to bring up in a little while. Tony, you know, Tony... A great singer, yes. overlooked for his vocal ability. Yes. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, Agreed. Yes. Great comedian, mm -hmm. great concert promoter. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the thing that Tony was, I mean, truly excelled at was communication with the crowd. Absolutely. Agreed. Yes. Agreed. I mean, Absolutely. he he could he could shift a program in a verse. Mm -hmm. basically, because he was that good at it. Jeff Easter's the same way. Yes, he is. And, Great you know, communicators. And, yeah, so, and that's part, that's a big part of it, not necessarily yeah. singing as much as getting it past the first yeah. row. That's right. You're right. And, and, uh, and the relationships with people. Honestly, I've had no less than 100 people come by and say, this week at the National Quartet Convention, Tony was my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right. You know, and, yeah. and that's yes. the truth. I mean, every, he made everybody feel like, we are best friends. Yeah. Loved everybody. And so that carried over into his communication from stage. Right. And uh, it's well, amazing. I heard one time, and I love this description of it, said when you stand on stage, you can either sing to the people or at the people. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 And we always attempt to sing to the people. Tony communicated yeah. to the people. Mm -hmm. He did. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it matters when you see the faces out there. I, I know that's right. what makes it interesting for me. Absolutely. Yeah. Is yeah. Seeing, and I was always so timid to be on stage. You would think that I wouldn't want to look. Yeah. And Jeff and I started talking one night. He said, what do you look at when you're on stage? I said, every face. Mm -hmm. yeah. Eyes, mm -hmm. smiles, mm -hmm. frowns, every yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. As soon as I see a frown, I'm making eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. But you know, yeah. we see it all. It's kind of like the school teacher that stands in front of the class and right. says, Tommy, put the pencil down. Mm -hmm. yeah. She sees it all. Yeah. We see it all. Yeah. I remember when I told Bill Gaither about Tony, it's like, uh, have you ever met him? He said, no. I said, the funniest human on the planet. And he yeah. and then he told a Jingle Bell story on one of the yeah. videos, and it was just... It was a hit. I love him. For awesome. years, Singing News was based in Boone, the hometown of the Greens, yeah. and mm -hmm. every Tuesday morning after Tony had come in from the weekend and everything, he would call me at the office and he'd say, Diane, you know, you could take, oh. he could take one syllable and stretch it out a week. <laughs> and he'd say, has any groups quit this week? I need their dates. <laughs> 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 Every Tuesday, yeah. Hey, uh, before we go to break, we need to ask a very basic question. Where did we find Jeff and Sherry Easter in the world of social media? <coughs> you can find us on jeffandsherryeaster.com, or you can find a lot of Jeff's funnies on Facebook. Just look up Jeff and Sherry Easter, the band page, the one with the little blue official check mark. And um, we're kind of everywhere else. So what wherever about? you see us, Walmart and everything will be available. <laughs> there you go. What about uh, Jim and Melissa? You can get us at Jim and Melissa Brady .com, All spelled out, Jim and Melissa Brady. Facebook, Twitter, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. we're on all that. Instagram. And check out the website. We do a newsletter called Celebrate the Little Things right. every Monday. Every Monday. All right. Wonderful. Hoppers? Well, oh, the, that was me. Yeah. yeah. All right. So the hoppers.com. <laughs> Facebook, uh, it's the just hoppers, not the hoppers with the little blue check mark. That is so imperative. So important. Yes. 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 Imperative and important. Uh, <laughs> Twitter would now X, uh, hoppers official, and Instagram, hoppers right. official. And Troy, of course. And Troy. 
Yes. We've, we've got to talk about where you can find Singing News Radio. You can always find Singing News Radio, singingnewsradio.com, or you can click on Singing News, and there's that big Listen Live button. Click that, and you hear us 365, 24-7. That's cool. right. Yeah. Hey, and one other thing very quickly. Tomorrow afternoon, Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern, Singing News Fan Awards live on hey, Singing News TV, yes, Singing News know. Radio, co-hosted by Look at that. Jeff yeah. and Cherry. And this that guy, Pat Barker. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. All right, folks, we're coming back in just a few moments. We're live in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee at the National Quartet Convention.